this man. <laughs> well, you're just going to be staring at yourself. It's cool. <laughs> but it follows me. I'm in the little box. <laughs> I'm not editing this out either, just for that. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> this is Jay. All right, one more time. This is Jackie with InTheKeyOfChange.com. I'm here with members of Red, Gold, Green in Virginia at Warp Tour. These are uh, Virginia natives yep. uh, based out of D.C. as well. Um, how do sort of the, your home crowd react to you? Um, well, up in D.C., in the northern part of Virginia, because we're two different places. But Very much so. When we played D.C. Chili Cook-Off, they showed us a lot of love. It was really fun. A lot of people came out. They bought all our stuff. Nice. How fans supposed to be, you know? <laughs> hear that? Friends. Hear that, Warped Tour fans? Go, go buy stuff. Go buy stuff. <laughs> Definitely buy stuff. <laughs> this is fun. This is, like, really fun. You, know, so you can block people out. I mean, if you guys want, I can just sit this one out. <laughs> you guys can play around. So, so <laughs> to focus back, when I, when I Love Lamp came out, it really blew up. Uh, sort of across social media. Mm -hmm. How did you guys, how do you guys react to that? Um, shock, some of it, like, because we were familiar with people blowing up off the internet, and then we weren't sure, like, all the signs were saying that these guys were blowing up kind of off the internet, but it's like, it's hard, to, it's just hard to believe. A lot of stuff has happened, it's just hard to believe, really, like, it's, it's stuff we've always been dreaming of, we've always been working towards a lot of this stuff, but now that it's starting to all happen, you just don't take it for granted, you know. It's just one of those things. Yes, ditto. You sure? <laughs> ditto. <laughs> All right, now I have to ask before I forget, um, who came up with the title for that song, I Love Lamp, and what is it in reference to? Well, it came up with the title, and it's reference to the movie and the meaning of the song, which is, like, I don't know, like, the person in the song doesn't know how to love. Therefore, and in the movie, it says, I love lamp, I love desk, I love all these things. Because he doesn't know what love is. Steve Carell? Yeah. What is his name? Brick. Brick Hammond, yeah. In the movie? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Putting it together eventually. Yeah. In the movie. <laughs> yes, it was a movie. <laughs> That's true. He does, he's like staring at things. Yeah, and just says things because he says it. So that's okay. how I feel. Okay. That's how I felt. So I made the song I Love Lamp. And tell us more about your new single that just released. Ooh, the new one. It's it's uh it's one where we shot the video um, in between sh in between European shows. We like left Paris, flew over to London, did the video, flew back to like Luxembourg or something. So we did it all in a day with this guy Ronan Pollock, and um, the video really speaks volumes to like one what we're about, and then it's it's a great way to like take in the music that that the song is, you know. So you kind of have the visuals and the song kind of going together to give you this sort of feeling. So. And it sounds like you had a really tough go having to leave Paris to go to Luxembourg. I mean, Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Gro growing up in Reston, did you ever imagine <laughs> that you would have such a tough schedule to, to keep up with? No. <laughs> <laughs> well no. said. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, you know, sort of humble beginnings, what was your first job? Three C's car wash, triple C's car wash, Coca-Cola Classic. <laughs> I think I was a, I think I might have been a, a camp counselor, a Spanish camp counselor or something. That might have been my very first paying job when I was like 12. So I do think it's Spanish. I think that was my first job. So from you teaching like Spanish when you were 12, how did you teach it though? <laughs> Teach a little teach teacher younger than me. <laughs> there you go. You just have to know a little bit more. As a teacher, I know you only have to know one lesson ahead. You'll be fine. <laughs> just be a little bit ahead of the game, you're good. That's true. So from very humble beginnings to to touring literally around the world, how does Red Gold Green sound sort of fit into Warp Tour, which is known for being more rock based, mm -hmm. heavier? Well, the energy is there in the live show. I mean. That's one thing that's the same, but even the Warp Tour is not what it used to be in that sense. There's also spots backstage with DJ sets and dubstep and rappers and things like that. But 
we fit in with the new world for a little bit better because those those kids had Jim Rigney on their team. It's not pop punk or anything like that, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then there's Echo Smith as well, which is just indie pop, you know. And so Warp Tour, there's more than one place to it now. Yeah. There's still, you know, we're, we're pulling it. You know what I'm saying? But still there. Yeah. So we kind of don't fit in, but we fit in. I guess yeah. that's basically what we fit in. <laughs> oh, you fit in just fine. So what are some bands that you have either caught before that you were really impressed by or still need to? I mean, you're halfway through tour now. <laughs> the story so far. Oh, okay. Well, the story so far. I actually was just telling him set it off. I don't know if you can see that, oh. but it says set it off. I c- he can't read his cross from here, but it says set it off. Yeah. Which is good product placement on their part, yeah. by the way, too. So yeah. it's, um, I mean, if you have a green shirt, if your band has a green shirt, I'm probably going to wear it. But this band, we got to be cool. <laughs> There's Parker and Kellen and Will and all those guys. There's, there's so many people. Yeah. Wallpaper. Let me just give you a laundry okay, list. Okay, there you Emily's go. Emily's Army, Strawberry Blondes, New Beat Punk, Dudes and the Money Makers, Big Boo and the Big Flavor, uh, Night Alive Still, August Burns, Dead. August Burns Dead, Middle Finger Salute, Those Are Our Boys, <laughs> um, like Mark the Plank had a cool breakdown. I was going to say, you are, you're definitely sounding quite popular, and it also sounds like you're fans of, of a lot of different genres of music. How do you sort of incorporate your interests sound-wise into your own sound? Well, like singles out of Lamp and Meet in London, they're completely like not the same at all. And then you have Million Fans, you got three songs that kind of make no sense together, but somehow when you put them all together on an album, it kind of feels right the way we just mesh everything together. It's so we're like a, we're like an iPod that shuffles, that meshes all the music together. So it's just like, it's what we listen to, so you put it all together. It's kind of simple to us. Okay, very cool. So what's up What's up next for Red, Gold, Green after Warp Tour? I don't know, man. No idea. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, soon to be more shows, you know. If everything keeps going correctly, we'll be doing more and more shows in more and more places. Okay. Any new music coming out anytime soon? You dropped something yesterday. <laughs> Luton no. London. We don't need any more new music. It's Luton London. Go watch the video. There's Luton. a video for it, so definitely go watch it. But don't you feel that fans nowadays are sort of like, as soon as you put something out, when's the next thing coming out? When's the next thing? Do you really? feel a pressure? People need to calm down. Even from press? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like, let it came out yesterday, <laughs> you know. Fair enough. Um, yeah, no, but we have an album coming out, so it's like probably late August, early September. Thank you. Yeah. We'll get there eventually between <laughs> Steve Carell. You know, <laughs> it's teamwork. It's teamwork. All right. Ask straight questions. I'd be like, when's the album coming out? <laughs> All right. Yeah, now I'm the list. Yeah. Yeah. Call that person back. No, he's left for my chops. All right. All right, then. Definitely. What happened to your answer? I'll tell you off mic. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. It's not, wow. e- it's not even that fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> what time? I'm glad I had to ask him. Go ahead. Sorry. Interrupting you on that one. It's all right. It's all right. So, w- when you got me all <laughs> fucking bum fuzzled. What's the name of the album? Red Gold Green LP. It's like the Slim Shady LP. <laughs> we modeled right after the Slim Shady LP. We thought that that made the best sense to tell people who we were instead of saying Red Gold Green. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Not but it's like spelled out in a lot of different it's places. It's in perfect English, not the Dutch gibberish that we have. Oh, it's been band name is Dutch. All right then. I, I don't know where to go from there. <laughs> that's really that's really what it is. It's like, where do you go from there? Touche. <laughs> it's Dutch. All right. <laughs> it's Dutch. Okay. You know, he teaches Spanish. Yeah. He taught Spanish. Yeah. It's Good you're for me. you're multicultural. No, you lie. Yes. Oh. Oh. The reason that the Spanish is busy sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pulling the cord. I'm pulling the cord. It's time to bail. Stay tuned for more from Red Gold Green. This is Jackie in the key of change.com. Bye. Oh, I'm going to bust.